Canepe, New Mexico, where I am from, is known for its tourist attractions, the unique art scenes, and history. Santa Fe is the oldest capital in the United States, and for this reason, it is kept the same. In the 1920s, Santa Fe ordered that all the buildings be built with adobe. Santa Fe is a combination of many cultures, and this is why we're not only the land of enchantment, but Santa Fe also has a nickname of the city different. Because of this, we attract many tourists. Santa Fe is a place where people can come and rest, take a couple of days away from the city life, and enjoy their surroundings. New Mexico in general offers a more tranquil pace of life. For these reasons, many people want to come and retire or start their families in Santa Fe. New Mexico's population has increased about 3%. That's about 58,000 people since 2020. As a local, the change of focus from locals to tourists and newcomers was dramatic. Houses and apartments are now being built around all of locals' home. Big restaurant companies are in a fair competition with locals' restaurants. Newcomers are slowly pushing locals out of their homes and places where they grew up in. As a local and, spe and speaking for many other locals, parks were very accessible to me. Parks were always within a two mile radius from anywhere I was at. I used to spend most of my time in parks with people from near neighborhoods, with family or with friends. With the years, one becomes more and more busy and stops spending as much time in parks. But locals that grew up in these places want their grandkids to be able to enjoy this, these places as much as they did. What locals share in common with newcomers is a concern for parks. For example, Regal Park is now the center of attention for, for one of the most concerned parks. After one of the slides in the park had to be closed down, it is said that the new slide will be installed on May 23rd. It is also a question if Santa Fe will be able to maintain the 100 parks as the city continues to expand. Santa Fe Public's tennis courts have been neglect neglected for more than 30 years now. The public tennis courts and around 100 parks have been an added stress for many residents. A safe place for young kids and teenagers to hang out has slowly disappeared. Santa Fe, New Mexico in general, has been a very difficult place for teenagers for the fact there aren't much things to do. For many years now, kids have found a way to have fun, and that is through drugs and alcohol. Licensed landscape architect Melissa McDonald has a $400,000 plan to better every public tennis court in the city of Santa Fe. This project will begin in April and finish in July. This plan also includes installing a new turf at the Santa Fe Plaza, which is great. Melissa McDonald believes that the process of the city has on creating a timeline for certain equipment and amenities that need to be fixed needs improvement. One of the main issues with city parks maintenance, it comes with creating more and more parks as plans for buildings, new homes, when there's no staff to maintain the parks. For example, one of Santa Fe biggest parks, Swamp Park, which has been open for six years now, has a near resident become its unofficial unpaid caretaker. In the story of two tales from the city in time of trouble by the Santa Fe New Mexican states, Joyce in the 1960s played baseball at St. John's University in New York. As a purist of the sport, he said the ugly surface of Swamp Park weighed on him. He called and emailed various people in the city government to help. They kept ignoring it, Joyce said. I went down and cleaned up all the weeds in 13 hours. My message was that, was here what a 71 year old with bad knees does. What followed were years of Joyce providing upkept in the park and providing the city government to uphold its end of maintenance. His photos of the Iron Teddy grounds along with emails to city councilors and municipal workers for the binder. Other residents have also taken matters into their own hands. Residents of Santa Fe have come together to find who is responsible for this neglect and found the mayor to blame Mark Glenson, a resident, but a resident of, of New Mexico got these people to come together and make a positive change. These groups have come together to clean up their neighborhoods, parks, and public parks. The departments that are now responsible for the care of the parks are understaffed and need help from residents, from 110 workers to now only 40 workers. The groups are Santa Friends of Santa Fe Parks, Santa Fe Parks, Santa Fe Little Leagues, the Cameroonians, and we grow eco. The good thing about Santa Fe is that we are a close-knit community. We welcome anyone to come and join these groups to take care of the parks in need, so kids and families can come together and enjoy a lovely afternoon in the parks. Not only can we come together to clean up these parks, but they can also donate to help fundraise. The goal is to be able to renovate all the fields, and that is with $3.1 million. 
With these changes, residents are content. The problem now is that there have been a timelines of stuff being promised and nothing ever happens. On the south side of Santa Fe on Jaguar Road, there has been a construction sign to, since 2020 saying that a new teen center will be done in the fall of 2021. A new teen center is an inside and outside center for families, kids of any age to come together and play sports. Also offers after school programs. The south side of Santa Fe is the fastest growing area. Placing a teen center would give life to the youth. The city councilor, Car Mitchell Dominguez, has been playing, putting in the efforts since the 90s for a teen center to be built on the south side. The teen center has been waiting for too long. Santa Fe also held the youth surveys where teens asked for job training opportunities and college readiness counseling. These surveys also told the South Side is a community where teens are most often working to support their families, but they also need help to support themselves. The teen center will be a great asset. We need people like Cairo Ochoa who made sure to engage in these communities to figure out what is required. She is focusing on young adults to give their voices and to be heard. It is encouraged for Santa Fe young adults to be involved in the community, to keep themselves busy, but not only for that, to help them build a resume for college. What I learned from this research is that the reason the Teen Center on Jaguars should have been built in the fall of 2021 is that Curious Shore is waiting to helpfully receive an extra $1 million to start the construction. Now they can stand up part of the center, but not all of it. If locals continue to fight and fundraise together and involve newcomers and tourists, people can reach their goal. The plan is to give a better future to the next generation, to fight for our parts and what teams deserve because their voices aren't being heard, but they're asking for them.